Yeah, this is a lot of bull crap, man. We should have had that last game. Hey, you hear that? A 2 0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in game three. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. In the booth with me, Steve Kerr and Clark Miller. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. A contest between conferences, Oracle Arena, Oakland, California, where the Warriors take their home floor. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And uh, guys, checking out Greg Oden here. What can we expect? Well, in terms of interior defenders, I mean, he's right there with the best of them. His block totals are amazing. Yeah, he can just swallow up some shots. And you better get it around him because you're not going to get it open. You need to go through him or around him, not over top of him. They're still compensating for the loss of Dwayne Wade. Kevin, my goodness, what a tough blow. His injury means he's going to miss the rest of the series. And so it's the Warriors sitting on the board first. From 15 feet away. And oh, come on. Really? He picks it right up and freaking knocks it down. Come on. Where's the coverage? Coming to this game after losing on Saturday. And I think the sort of issues they had on defense, in part at least, was a bigger factor. Really compounded, I think, because it was on the road. You, you have to be sharper when you go out. Oh, my God. Yeah, everything has to be tight. You can't be loose in any aspect of your game. You're fighting against the crowd and the opponent. <laughs> got to be tougher mentally and physically if you're going to win on the road. Curry against Billups. Here's Money. Passes to Lee. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. Come on, make both of these. The Warriors shooting their first shots of the night from a charity strike. And both free throws good for Lee. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. James up top. He's covered by Iguodala. That's good. James has got his first bucket in this one. You can't give him that shot. I mean, a few open looks are all it takes, and he can really get rolling. Curry passes to Lee. Out to Thompson. It's stolen by Allen. Ugh. And blocked, and he's able to get it back. Shots good. Of course, I can't jump. Miami on defense. They lead by four. Curry passes to Money. Curry against Billups. Curry gets to lead. Rejected by Batty. My God. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Here's a peek at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Fifth on the list, LeBron James. Tell you what, he's dialed up his rebounding here in the playoffs, and the big games seem to bring the best out of him. Here's Money. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. Money's got his second basket of the night. He'd have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Phillips against Curry. And that one's good by Phillips. Curry with it. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Money passes to Curry. All alone. That's there we go. The Heat with the lead. Dishes to Allen. Odin with 
the screen for Allen. LeBron kicks to Odin. Yes. My dude's just standing there. I can't even move with him. Coming from inside the painted area. Yep, that's something that the defense has to put a stop to. Maybe a defensive adjustment is necessary. Here's Billups. He's got six. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. He kicks to Odin. Tipped away. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry's got the ball. You can see the importance of that skill. I mean, really a four-point turnaround with the conversion at the other end right there. Yeah, that's big. I mean, you, you negate a mask at one end, score at the other. Now is when the momentum can really shift. Dishes at the Battier. Puts up the baby hook. And another basket for Miami. You know, his ability is matched only by his energy, guys. I mean, he's usually in the middle of everything for his team. Curry kicks to Luke. Tries from 10, and the Warriors take on two more. 136 left to play here in the first. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Mark Jackson said to his club. He made a point of telling the guys how vulnerable the defense they're facing is to the pick and roll. That'll be a play we see them run a lot this game. He also wanted them to know they should be working together to get their outside shooters open. He said, you know what plays we have to run to get guys free. Now let's run them. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. And here are the Warriors now after the missed three from Chalmers. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. And the Heat making a change here. Jones has checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like the typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Chalmers passes to Anthony. Shot is blocked. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does. And now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. Here's money. Oh, I was at the hoop. And it's going to be a three-second. Man, I thought he was going to shoot it before that, but he was messing around with the ball. The second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Anderson dishes two for now. Here's Allen. It's good. This game is all even. He's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Steph, Clay, and Dre on the perimeter. On the out there. There we go. So that's good. The group out there for Golden State. What beautiful assist. That's a couple of teammates clearly on the same page. Now here's Phillips. He's got nine. Outside. Back to Billups. Left side, Billups. Five on the clock. Here's LeBron. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Well, there's really nothing he can't do on a basketball court. Offensively, I think LeBron's signature skill is his great playmaking ability. Along with, of course, his athleticism, that's what really sets him apart. And Steve, over his career, he's made significant improvements defensively. Awareness combined with that athleticism and activity. The size that he has, the speed. I mean, he may be the fastest guy in the world to able to jump in the passing lanes and chase down shooters at a rapid rate of speed. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move to catch? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. Well, that's how you said it. Two hands and hammer it down. It's blocked. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got four points this quarter. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. Yeah, the defense has been futile here. Five of the last six field goals in the lane. No good from Vernado. Warriors leading by four. 
On the wing, Iguodala to the inside. Here's Curry and the rejection by Vernado. And that'll be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. Greg Oden, he's checked in for the Heat. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Nice. There we go. Now let's actually keep this lead this time. Story is points in the paint, Clark, I and mean, they're getting point blank shots every time down. Now here's James. Six points for him. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to four again on the bucket from Greg Oden. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and it's paid dividends. Yeah, it sure has, Clark. I mean, look at as many points as they've gotten in the paint. They really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. An excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No oh, 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 man. Wow. What a punch. And that's a punch to the jaw. This game is tight as it can be. And he pulls something off that we might not even see in the All-Star game, Kevin. But, Clark, I don't know that he planned it out too far in advance. That was one of those things that, that you know, just happened. I think it was premeditated. <laughs> Two hours. He's the one guy they don't mind attempting something like that in a close ball game. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Ray Allen. And Thompson kicks to his Ely. Six to shoot. Thompson inside, guarded by Odin, kept alive. Down it goes, nice one there for Money. Money's got 12. Money. Yeah, they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, guys, Money in the last outing against the Heat delivered quite a performance. He finished with 28 points and was just an absolute force inside on defense, batting away shots every second he was on the floor. Just numbers that really jump out at you in the box score. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night. Clark, I thought was truly incredible. Absolutely. I mean, he did the work of several players in that game. He really didn't need much support at all. But they shouldn't count on that type of performance again tonight. But his teammates need to be prepared to carry a little bit more of the load. And the Warriors miss again. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Now, here's Curry after the miss from Chalmers. Second chance effort, and uh, oh, here, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So we've got a couple of free throws coming up. Talk about a terrific game for Money. He's got 13 points and two rejections. This is some performance we're witnessing out of him. This is a night to remember for sure, guys. Here's Cole. He's guarded by Miles and stolen by Barnes. Miles the pass to Barnes. And that one is stuffed right through. How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time through that. Yeah, you got to rise and levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, that levitate. Oh, and glide. Something. And glide. You got to glide in and reverse it home. So sweet. Here's Cole. Three-pointers off the mark. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those balls. Any extra possessions that you can get, either through steals or rebounds, are so critical in this game. Barnes kicks to Miles. Fires the three. The shot is off. Here's Cole. Got it off in time. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so we wrap up. Oh, boy. Now, presented by Sprint. This is the Halftime Report. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. What a game we're seeing from Money. Boy, his rebounding was superb in that first half, particularly at the offensive end where he's really battling. And that continued to allow... Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What a huge play. And Always get Andrea Godella with that nice slammer jammer. 
game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's Ellie. right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Battier kicks to Allen. Puts it up from 15. Good. Well, offensively, he needs much less space to operate than most players. It's amazing how well he can get his shot off, even with somebody right in his face. You know, even the tightest defensive pressure doesn't seem to phase him in the least. I mean, you can attribute it to his concentration, where he has incredible focus, or you could just say he's one of those gifted scorers. Here's James, and so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Well, you look at Money, leading the league in field goal percentage, he always gets good looks. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from James. Second half just getting started, about a minute played. Curry against Billups. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Warriors have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless. Nice. There we go. Nail both of these. Don't let LeBron show you up. There you go. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. LeBron with it. Picked up by Thompson. Kicks it to Battier. Back to James. It's Battier on the wing. He's covered by Thompson. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Greg Oden. I really think that's the area they want to work the ball into, and it takes passing like that to get it done. Curry dishes to Lee. To the middle. Here's Money, guarded by Oden. Here's Money, and yes, sir, that one drops. Money's got 16 points. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the ball continues to go into the post. Well, if they don't pick up the aggression, things are only going to get worse. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Mark Jackson was going over with his team. He said to his guys, let's get serious about driving the lane and putting pressure on their interior defenders. That's where he sees the soft spot in this defense. Perhaps the rest of the second half will look different after those adjustments, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Looking at the numbers for Greg Oden, he's got eight points, and they've got to be happy with his work on the glass, too. No, oh, they have to be. I mean, he's not giving up any ground in the paint, and when the ball goes up, I mean, it's his. So he can't get either to fall. Warriors leading by six. On its way from Curry for two. Nice. And another basket for Golden State. You know, I'd like to see more of that from him. He's been passing up his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones he takes. He's got to be more aggressive. LeBron drives in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. LeBron's got 12. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. The Warriors have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Curry passes to Lee. Back to Curry. Here's Money, guarded by Oden. Here's Money, and the shot. Oh, come on. This time. Well, still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that miss. Oh, and here we go with Lee. Nobody back. Boom. The breakaway jam. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transition. Exactly, Clark, what they want to be aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. It's stolen by Allen. And the pass to Billups. the jump shot. Phillips has got 11 points. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Well, he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength. That's for sure. And he may change up some things here as well. Looks to me like he saw something that wasn't on the plan and pick now is the time to address it. I don't have a problem with that. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Eric Spolstra was saying to his team. Stop allowing baskets in transition. That was the message he conveyed very clearly to his players. He also told them to get tough. He said, let's make this one a very physical game. Boom. Oh. 
adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Doris, thanks. The drive by James. Allen kicks to James. Feeds it to Odin. Out of bounds, Golden All State right. possession. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Warriors leading by 10. Curry dishes to Iguodala. One thirty-five left to play in the third. Lee. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Now we de now. Yeah, we got to keep our lead. <laughs> James, the pass to Batty. The dish to Billings. It's back to Battier. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Golden State. They're on a 14-6 run. The shot by Iguodala. Again, Boom! It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together. And they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. LeBron kicks to Odin. Yeah! And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And a new group in for the Heat. Anderson, he's checked in for Odin. Haslam comes in for Shane Battier. Norris Cole, he's checked in for Allen. And it's Chalmers in for Chauncey Billups. Six to shoot. Here's Chalmers. From 16 feet away, he cans it. Chalmers has got his first points of the game. Risky shot there. Size-wise, I mean, he easily comes out on the short end of the stick, so to speak. With the nice high release, he had no problem getting it off and knocking it down. And nice. Another assist. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. Nice. We got a good lead. Here's money, and it's Golden State with another. Make it 10 of their last 12 points coming off assists. Wow, are they moving the ball right now? They look good. On the wing, Thompson and Igudo. Money out there with David Lee, and it's Curry in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Ball's not loose. Vernado dishes the back. Ah. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Sloppy defense there. You can't let him get the ball in his hands down there. Well, when he does, that's an automatic bucket. Warriors leading by 16, and Ray Allen gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul, and the Heat making a change here. Odin's checked in. Here's money, ready by Odin. Thompson for the triple, and he gets Boom! And the Warriors lead by 19. I think he's best as a spot-up shooter. And he can play off of his teammates and find openings on the perimeter, just catch and shoot. Got a quick release, beautiful stroke. He does such a nice job of getting himself squared up and in perfect position before the ball gets there, preparing before the pass. Just a little under two and a half minutes of pass now here in the fourth. Pass to money, shot clock at six. Another oh yeah, a three! On right side, James gets the screen from Allen. James, the pass to Allen. Back to LeBron. He dishes it to Odin. Oh, yeah. Iguodala, left side. Passes it to Mutton. Free throw line, jump shot. The shot. Boom. Iguodala has got three assists tonight. Important part of every team's game. And a look at the hustle stats for the Warriors. Their high energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. And fouled hard. Nice. Time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on LeBron James. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Lee. Well, how about David Lee in this one? 
12 points, and he's done his job at the charity stripe. He's gotten four of his points from there. And that's a good place to get them. You know, they don't come easier than that, but you've got to get yourself there first. James kicks to Allen. Back to James. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Boy, they came out of the locker room at halftime with a much more physical disposition than they had in the first half. Sure helps that they've gotten extra trips to the foul line here in the second. And that has to continue if they're going to complete this comeback. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Mark Jackson was going over with his team. He told his guys that they needed to be much more patient at the offensive end. They're wasting possessions, he said, with bad shot selection. He said the other key was going to be their ability to defend effectively in transition. He wants to seriously limit the fast break points allowed. Gentlemen, some late game adjustments that could prove crucial in the game's closing moments. Kevin, over to you. And thank you, Doris. Nice move. He's nice there. shot. He Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. And the shooting percentage continues to climb. Guys here in the second half, they're on fire. Steve, I like the collective focus since halftime. Good team basketball resulting in high-quality shots. It's a plus-five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jumpers. Warriors leading by 21. And there's the pass to Money. Back to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. Good. 14 points for David Lee. Man, this is what we sh need to do the rest of this series. Congratulations in order here tonight on an outstanding effort in a well-deserved victory for the Warriors. You're right, Steve. It was a standout performance across the board. They were just uh, at times part that seemed toying with. Yeah, like watching a cat play with a mouse, Kevin. Yeah. Quite honestly, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted to do. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous money. performance for money. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. The drive by LeBron. And there's the feed to Odin. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Well, he certainly isn't the one to blame for them being in the hole. He's been on the money with his game. Iguodala outside. Pass to Money. Lee dishes to Thompson. Makes a big height pounce and goes in. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, that's yeah definitely. Freaking catch up the last game. LeBron drives in. Allen outside for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Here's Money. Leaps for it, and that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. All right. Ugh. Whew. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. Stepping a big win here at home, Mop. Heading into game four, trailing in the series 2-1, do you feel that the next game is a must-win situation for you guys? Definitely. Oh, absolutely. If we go down 3-1, you might as well start booking tea times for next week. I'm not going to pull any punches. It's a must-win game for us in a big way. You better believe that when we get out there, we'll be going 100 miles an hour and doing everything we can to play our best game of the season. Because we know if we can even things up at two, we can beat them in a three-game series the rest of the way.
All right.